All right, we are back. I have finished doing some training. We have caught Banana and Pear back up to the team. And we're going to move on in the plot. So here we go. We got some stuff to battle. I specifically wanted a psychic type for the upcoming stuff because there's a bunch of poison things between the bike path and the poison gym leader. For those of you wondering, our level cap is sitting at 40. Koga's highest is 43, but Sabrina's highest is 43 as well. And uh, we're going to cap one a little lower than the other one. And Sabrina's the harder Pokemon trainer, so... That's how I'm doing it. That's what we're doing. <clears throat> Bananas doing some kick-ass work. So luckily, um, with me doing a lot of the grinding off screen, everybody who's watching the videos won't have to go through like 30 episodes of me grinding. Um, I was able to just jump to the part where, you know, we can keep going on the plotline stuff. No one died, especially after Banana got evolved. Um, nothing was pretty much even close to stopping him, so... Yeah, it was just it was just time consuming. The Versus Seeker also helped me out because I used a ton of my money to get Thunderbolt for our buddy Pear, the Jolteon. Um, and yeah, I was running running low on monies, but slowly got it back. I uh, did have them, they did learn two moves, though. One, Banana learned Meditate. Um, I had shit luck with Hypnosis for most of the grind, and when that move popped up, which will raise my physical attack, I was just, like, ready to go. I'm like, you know what, I'm tired of Hypnosis, I got my buddy Spinach that has a sleeping ability, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. And then... Um, Pear learned, uh, which you'll see here in a second, Pear learned uh, Double Kick, so more coverage. I don't expect to use it that much, but it might come in handy real quick for something. Um, I also noticed a huge difference in the experience needed to level them up. Banana usually needs a chunk more, and Pear seems to level up really quick. Which is convenient when you have to train two Freshmon for a Nuzlocke. Because uh, otherwise the grinds can take forever. Beating up this whole gang, which this anyone who's played uh, the Leaf Green Fire Red versions, this is kind of the... This is one of the sweet spots to have versus seek later on. Because there's not a great amount of places that you can grind when you're getting to like elite four level. But the general experience, I remember in one of my Nuzlocke's I had something die and I ended up going with like an Omanite. But I needed to get that Omanite up like 25 levels. Like hard levels, like between 20 and like 45 or 50. And it took forever, and this was one of the main spots that I could do it. It resisted a lot of stuff, it had some super effective stuff. Um, it was decent experience, it was like, you know, battle at least six of these guys and get get at least a level out of it. So, it was, yeah, it was good times. Also, I appreciate anyone who's sticking through watching this at this point, as uh, those last couple episodes of Death, uh, those were rough. I know they were interesting, but they were also rough. 
Um, I just had like a moment of reflection on the fact that Pear is almost half health, and this thing potentially could have self-destruct. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to somebody I think who could take it. I really have to pay attention, especially when I'm just blabbering on uh, with any of these mon that can uh, self-destruct, because the last thing I want to do is just be talking, 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 and then leave something out and get, like, destroyed. I also just double-checked real quick because I was doing a bunch of grinding, and I can't, uh, I can't catch any extra things on this route. Um, the usual Rattata, Raticate, Spiro, Firo, Doduo, there might be even be Vulpex, but all of those encounters I have either caught some part of the species, so I had the species clause. So, for instance, I caught Veal back in the day, who was my Spiro. It subsequently died, but because I had some part of the species, I can't get, uh, I can't get Firo, even though it's a later round and I never had it in my Pokedex. That's just kind of how I play my Nuzlocke. In a limited um, game like this one, where you have less routes and less options, it, it can be challenging. But in like some of the other games, there's 600 Pokemon. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't scratch the surface. All right. See, I mean, look at that. That was huge experience for Banana. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hit that button. Alrighty. Let me just throw a little potion in on our buddy Pear before we jump into that. And see, this is you know, this is going pretty quick. I am excited because uh, there are going to be definite new encounters in the next area. In future, uh, Fuchsia City, we have um, the Savari Zone, which could be really cool or really shitty, <laughs> depending on how that goes. Um, and then uh, at some point I'll get the good rod so I can come back to some routes or cities that might have had water that I just haven't got encounters on yet. And I um, might get a few other options. So I think it's going to start to really explore from here on and we'll just have to see what happens <clears throat> also anyone who's familiar with the bike road is it'll force you to go downhill here shortly um and the way i have to film this it's going to be really hard for me to like try to fight that on screen so i'm just going to pick one side and just kind of go from there um so yeah here we go and yeah if i see a trainer i'll try to yeah i'll try to battle the trainer but I'm not going to run over to that one that's over there. At least not initially. I can always swing back later on. Man, I am not feeling comfortable around these damn wheezings. Um, it's just one of those things, like, anyone who's played a Nuzlocke and has to deal with things that can self-destruct, you get really, really concerned when you're, like, around Gravelers or... Um, Electro, Tweezings, any of those guys um, in the uh, first couple drones. Pair really hits hard too. I'm loving the uh, Thunderbolt, the special attack, like. Pair definitely holds their own. I mean, look at that. 76 special attack. That's really good for my team. And the speed is a phenomenal. I'm never worried about uh, something out outspeeding Pair. So that's risky business. Oh, muck. How I dislike fucking muck. I do wish instead of uh, meditate, I had something like Calm Mind on this. Um, I know I'm sitting on the Psychic TM. I need to 
check to see when Hypno naturally learns this. Because if it's going to learn it in like four to five levels, then why the hell would I teach it? But if for any reason it learns it like later on, like 50 or after, uh, maybe even like 45 or after, I'm probably going to just go ahead and teach it because I'm going to need that that hit ability uh, soon. Probably should have healed before this, but I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Nice. So, part of me doing my own Nuzlocke, I like watching other people do their Nuzlocke. Um, sometimes it can be a little annoying. Um, I'm also kind of particular, like, that people play the game. Um, Nuzlocke rules, especially if they've established them at the beginning of the game, they follow them really tightly. But, anyway, I was watching Adrive, who has a sweet channel about Pokemon, about Pokemon everything, but he does some sweet, like, ROM hack uh, Nuzlockes. And he did, um... He's doing this Xenoverse one, which is, like, really cool, in my opinion. Um, a lot of the family games, the fun thing is seeing Pokemon that they've made. And, uh, yeah. So I was watching that. He's only a couple episodes in, but, uh, but it's really cool. And I need to figure out how to download that. Okay. Oh, Banana, you're looking a little weak. spread that XP around. Remember I play on set battle type, so it's not like I have choices in the middle of matches. So, nice mana. More solid HP. But mana is just going to hold down the fort on like HP and special defense. I'm just going to rely on them. Um, okay, so we do have some other Pokemon that could use a level. Um, now that we've caught the our buddy's banana and pair up, so we're gonna swap bacon in front and we're gonna keep moving forward. Ooh. Fucking reason, man, these things. This one's concerning. See how he's one level higher? I swear, if this thing smokescreen, or er, um, not smokescreen, it's probably gonna smokescreen me. If this thing self destructs, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. There we go. Perfect. Let's get squash out here. Oops, I'm gonna have to call that an episode because I I was not paying attention. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna finish the battle, and then on the outside, I'll uh, end the episode. I. Uh, should have paid more attention. This is going to be a huge cut. Huge cut from filming. Alright, so I had to cut that out, but uh, basically we beat this trainer. Um, we had a slight risk with bacon getting poisoned, but we're going to call it an episode. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. See you next time. Bye.